Many winters in the past, the earth was entirely covered by a great blanket of water. There was no sun, moon, or stars, and so there was no light. All was darkness. At the time, the only living creatures was in the world were water animals, such as beaver, muskrat, and duck and lagoon. Far above the earth was the land of happy spirits where lived Rawaniu, the great roar. In the center of the separate world was a giant tree. This giant tree was an apple tree whose roots sank deep into the ground. One day, Rawaniu pulled this giant tree up by its roots. A great spirit called his daughter who lived in the upper world and commanded her to look into the pit caused by the uprooted tree. This woman who... who who was to be the mother of the good and evil spirits, came and looked into the uprooted tree. She saw far below her the lower world, covered with water and surrounded with heavy clouds. You are to go to this world of darkness, said the great spirit, gently lifting her. He dropped her into the hole. He floated downward. Far below the dark water flowed, watered animals. Look, looking upwards, they saw a great light, which was the Sky Woman, slowly fall, falling towards them. Because her, bo- because her body shone as a great light, they they fear full, fill, filled their hearts. Fear filled their hearts, and they and they dove beneath the deep waters. But but up upon coming to the surface again, they lost their 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 fear. They began to plan what what they would do for the woman. She reached to the water. Uh, she reached the water. We must find a dry place. We must find a dry place for her to rest. <clears throat> and said the beaver. The, and he plunged beneath the water in search of some earth. After a long time, the beaver's dead body had floated up to the top of the water. The loon tr- tried next, but his body never came to the surface of the water. Many of the others water creatures dived, but all failed to secure any earth. Finally, the muskrat went below, and after a long time, his dead body floated to the surface of the water. His little claws were closed tight. Opening, upon, upon opening them, a little earth was found. The water creatures took this earth, and calling a great turtle, they patted the earth firmly on her broad back. Immediately, the turtle started to grow larger. The earth also increased. This earth became North America, a great island. Sometimes the earth cracks and shakes and waves beat hard against the seashore. White people say earthquake, the Mohawks say turtle is stretching. The Sky Woman had now almost reached the earth. We must fly up and let her rest upon our backs so as to make her landing easy. As the, said the chief of the white swan, flying upward a great flock of white swans allowed the Sky Woman to rest upon their backs. Gent- gently they bore her to earth. After a, ta- after a time, the Sky Woman gave birth to two, two twins. One who became the gods, the good spirit, was born first. The other, the evil spirit, while being born. Because his mother was so much pain that she died during his birth. The good spirit immediately took his mother's head and hung it in the sky. It became the sun. The good spirit 
from his mother's body, finished the moon and stars and placed them in the sky. The rest of his mother's body he buried under the earth. That is why living, living things find nourishment from the soil. The spring, they spring from Mother Earth. The evil spirit put darkness into the in the west sky to drive the sun before it. The good spirit caused created many things which he placed upon the earth. The evil spirit tried to undo the work of his brother by creating evil. The good spirit made tall and beautiful trees such as pine and hemlock. The, the evil spirit st stunted some trees and others he, he put knots and gnarls also he covered earth so and with the earth and placed poison fruits on them. The good spirit made animals such a, as the deer and be, the bear. The evil spirit made poisonous animals poisonous animals, lizards and serpents to destroy the animals of the good spirit's creation. The good spirit made springs and streams of good pure water. The evil spirit breathed poison into many of the springs. He put snakes into others. The good spirit made beautiful rivers protected by hills. The evil spirit pushed rocks and dirt into the river, causing the currents to become swift and dangerous. Everything that the Good Spirit made made his wicked brother tired to to destroy. Finally, when the earth was completed, the Good Spirit fashioned a man out of some red clay. He placed the man upon the earth and told him how he should live. The evil spirit, not to be outdone, fashioned a creature out of white foam from the sea. What he made was a monkey. After mankind, all the other creatures of the world were created. The, the good spirit bestowed, bestowed, bestowed a protecting spirit upon each of his creatures. He then called the evil spirit and told him that he must cease making trouble upon the earth. This is evil spirit refused to do. The good spirit became very angry with his wicked brother. He challenged his brother to com combat the victor to be become ruler of the earth. They used the thorns of a giant apple tree as weapons. They fought for many sons. sons. Finally, the evil spirit was overcome. The good spirit now became ruler over the earth. He banished his wicked brother to a dark cave under the earth. earth. There's, there he must always remain. But the evil spirit had has wicked servants who roam the earth. These wicked spirits can take the shape of any creature that the evil spirit desires them to take. They are constantly influencing the minds of men that does causing men to do evil things. What is every person has that that is why every person has no has both a bad heart and a good heart. No matter how good the man seems, he has some evil. No matter how bad a man seems, there is good in him about him. No ma no man is perfect. The good spirit continues to create and protect mankind. He controls the spirits of good men after death. The evil spirit takes charge of the souls of wicked men after death. The purpose of this legend was told by the old Iroquois was to point out the 
listener that there is something good in the worst of us and something evil in the best of us. No person is perfect. No man has the right to judge one another. That right is for the great spirit alone.